As a bilingual, it always bothers me when I see people making fun of others when they speak English with a foreign accent. Don't they understand that it is very difficult to learn and to speak in another language that is not their native tongue? Most Americans in the United States only speak English. Only about one out of four people is bilingual. It was 11% in 1980, 14% in 1990, and about 20% in 2010. According to research, about 32 million adults in the U.S. cannot read. That's 14% of the population. 21% of the adults in the U.S. read below a 5th grade level. Therefore, before you make fun of someone's accent, please think about how well can you speak in another language. All of us have some type of problems speaking a foreign language that is not our native tongue. So be understanding and be cool about it. I used to be so shy that I couldn't talk to anyone. I remember when I first came to the US. I was in the fifth grade, barely know any English. It was very difficult for me to interact with people. However, I couldn't talk to anyone that I did not know. At home, I would speak Vietnamese with my mom and my aunt. At school, I would speak only to my ESL teacher. Throughout the fifth grade, I was very shy and very scared of talking to anyone. The reason was, all the kids were making fun of me whenever I opened my mouth. Everyone was making fun of me every single day due to how I talk. I was labeled as a fog, aka fresh off the boat. But on technicality, so we are in the 21st century. I think it should be called fog, aka fresh off the plane. Think about it. It was 6th grade that one day after being making fun of again, I just had enough. I realized how I just let my shyness and my insecurity about my accent control my entire life. I was tired of it. I was sick of not able to express myself when I wanted to. I realized that if I didn't change, I would be like this forever. So I changed. Little by little, I started to be more social active in my class. One step at a time, I was able to get rid of my anxiety to speak in front of people and the public. I mean, if you think about it, what is the worst thing that can happen if you speak? Haha, <laughs> you have an accent. Your English suck. That's it? Is that all that keeping you away from not able to express yourself? I know that anyone can relate with how scary public speaking can be. I have been there, in my head. I was worrying that everyone is looking at me. What if it doesn't go well? Everyone is watching. What if I embarrass myself? What if? Why will you put yourself in a negative position? Instead of thinking negative, I always try to think positive and be optimistic about the situation. My Vietnamese accent can be really bad. However, one step at a time is how I learned to be comfortable with my accent. In high school, I forced myself to be in the ASB student government to build up my social skill, and it was one of the best decisions of my life. I did a public speech in my senior award ceremony. In college, I pushed myself to be active in different social clubs and organizations. This led me to learn and to be able to publicly speak in meetings club funding hearing, group section, and eventually spoke on TV for the first time. Now, here I am, recording myself and speaking on YouTube to you guys. Were I scared and afraid back then? Yes, I am still a little scared to speak with an accent today still. However, it does not stop me from expressing myself. Seriously, running away from your fear and insecurity will be more painful than just facing it. It is never as bad as you think it's gonna be. And over time, you will realize that you are more confident, your social skill is getting better, and you are more expressive than ever before. So believe in yourself, speak up, and have fun doing it.